Hey guys, welcome back. Reach is coming to MCC and MCC is coming to PC and my god, does it still feel so weird to actually be able to say that, but it's true, we weren't dreaming, it actually happened. However though, games that get added to MCC do tend to change a little bit and Reach is no exception. Now, in the past, a fair few of these changes have been quite negative. Things like reduced armor customization in Halo 3 and Halo 4, fucked up effects and textures in Combat Evolved, certain button glitches not working in Halo 2 and so on. However, it looks like Reach is going to change that, at least mostly. So today, we're going to look at how Reach is changing when it comes to MCC and PC. And at the end, I'm going to just like throw out some ideas of my own for things that I personally would like to see changed or added somewhere down the line. Nothing crazy, just stuff similar to what other games in MCC have had. I do want to give a big shout out though to all of you guys who gave me this video idea the other day. Like, I, I genuinely just could not come up with an idea for a video, but you guys helped me out big time, so thank you very much. I've also banked a few of the other ideas that you guys suggested that I make a video about, so expect to see those in the near future sometime. So, let's begin. Firstly, the big one that applies to both console and PC is the changes to Reacher's unlock system. Now, for those who haven't heard, Reacher's armor customization is going to be exactly the same as it was in the original Reach, so there's no worries to be had there. But the armor unlock system and progression system is going to be different. 343's official statement announcing this said that they're exploring a new and deeper progression system that retains the feel of the old systems and blends them with newer models for game progression, and that no monetization will be involved whatsoever. So, as vague as this is, it does actually give us a little bit to speculate about. When it comes to modernizing Reach's progression system by blending it with a newer model, that to me screams a battle pass type system. Just, of course, without any of the monetization, thank god. Battle passes are easily the most popular progression system right now in gaming thanks to Battle Royale games, but other games like Black Ops 4 have shown that they can be integrated into regular multiplayer as well, so it's not like they only work for Battle Royale games. Maybe instead of having the usual tier system, the battle pass in air quotes will instead sort of synergize with Reach's leveling system and then have the armor attachments and other stuff buyable with credits. Basically, what I'm saying is maybe as you level up, you unlock base armor sets, and then the credits that you earn, you then spend on things like helmet attachments, leg pouches, wrist attachments, etc, etc, and it sort of works like a battle pass leveling system. I don't know, in retrospect, that seems kind of messy, honestly, but if I had to put my money on one modern progression system that it would borrow ideas from, all things considered, it would absolutely be a battle pass system. It's the most likely, in my opinion. Moving on, I got a lot of questions asking me if Reach coming to MCC and PC meant that it was going to be treated sort of like Halo 2 Anniversary and get a complete visual upgrade, and the answer is simply no. No. This isn't Halo Reach Anniversary, and honestly, I don't even even think it needs that much of an upgrade. Like, yeah, would it be great for Reach to get modern visuals? Yeah, maybe, I guess, but I think that Reach's gritty art style perfectly fit the atmosphere of the game, and if it were to get a complete visual overhaul a la Halo 2 Anniversary, I'd be really worried that any attempts to update it could kind of ruin the atmosphere. Looking at you, Combat Evolved Anniversary! However, the existing visuals will be getting an upgrade. Now, because the game is going to be supported at like up to 4K resolutions, textures, visual effects and the like are, at least I assume, going to get an upgrade to match that resolution bump, just like they did with like Halo 3 and Halo 2 in the MCC. Of course, Reach is also going to be getting up to 60 frames per second on console, with the possibility of an uncapped frame rate on PC. Now, out of all the visual upgrades that Reach is getting, this, along with the addition of HDR and the ability to disable motion blur, are, like, without a doubt the biggest. These three changes alone will make Reach seem like an entirely new game. I mean, Reach in itself is quite a grim game colour-wise, but HDR will help to alleviate that, while of course still staying true to the original aesthetic, and higher frame rates and disabled motion blur will make the game just feel, like, buttery fucking smooth. If FIFA 3 go even further and manage to get the uncapped frame rate working, which they said isn't guaranteed, but they're still trying, and then also manage to get high refresh rates working as well, then 
Whew, holy shit. Anybody who has the necessary hardware to play the game at a consistent 240 FPS at 240 hertz, Oh my god, you're in for the absolute fucking treat of your lifetime. I can't show in a video what high refresh rates look like because obviously you need a monitor with a higher refresh rate to see it. But honestly, like holy shit, the first time I used 144 hertz, it felt like I was entering the fourth dimension. It's a new level of smooth that is totally inconceivable. You then combine all of this with the new settings allowing us to customize aspect ratio, field of view, and all the other typical PC visual and audio customization settings, and you have yourself one juicy, juicy snack. Reach is gonna look so fucking good. Now, one change that I don't think people will exactly be too fond of, but it was always gonna happen, is the UI. Now, I think this goes without saying, but because Reach is going to be fully integrated into MCC's UI, the original menu layout won't be returning. I assume, though, that when you select Reach, the menu UI will change and like become Reach themed with concept art in the background and music and all that good stuff just like the other games but it's still gonna be MCC's UI at the end of the day. Okay moving on something that I do want to cover that I got a fair few questions about that actually hasn't been confirmed to be returning yet is the challenge system. Now the daily, weekly, monthly challenges were tied directly to the credit system which in turn was tied directly to the progression and customization system and given that the progression system is being changed that kind of brings the credit system and consequently the challenges into question. Now the biggest worry for me is how they're going to integrate an in-game currency into MCC's existing UI and I kind of have a feeling that this hurdle might be one of the reasons they're re-evaluating the traditional progression system. It kind of just came to me when writing this video but I don't understand how they'd integrate it into MCC's UI considering it's so different to like anything that's already there. I mean I know nothing about UI development but as far as my basic knowledge can tell it seems like they'd have to develop an entirely new section of the UI which would be quite a big feat, I assume. I'm not sure, but if worst does come to worst and the credit system does end up getting cut entirely, which I really hope doesn't happen, then the challenge system becomes essentially redundant. Like, there's no tangible reward for completing challenges, so why bother? Well, if this does happen to be the case, then I have a suggestion that could make the best of a bad situation. Now, in the past few months, V43 have started making quite a few nameplates for MCC that you unlock by taking part in timed events. My idea is that basically they could overhaul the challenge system, so, I don't know, maybe there's two fairly hard challenges that you have two weeks to complete, and then for completing them, you get a relevant nameplate that can't be unlocked again once the two weeks are up, or maybe the challenges could come back in the future at some point, just not very regularly to make sure the nameplates stay rare. Basically, turn the nameplates into the MCC equivalent of Fortnite skins. Give some of them, like, an inherent rarity and value that, like some Fortnite skins, have people rushing back to the game when the opportunity to unlock them pops up again, except, of course, without having to buy them. I really hope that this worry is for nothing and it doesn't end up becoming a reality, but with how tricky I think it could be to implement credits into MCC, a game that doesn't even have any form of progression system yet, let alone like an in-game currency. A small part of me has this nagging feeling that it's gonna end up getting replaced, but I hope that I'm wrong. Alrighty, let's move on to some more positive suggestions now that don't involve reworking existing systems. Something that recently came to MCC Multiplayer that, honestly, I'm really surprised took 15 years to be added is schools. Now, in the last MCC update, V43 upgraded Halo 2's custom game options to not only include some of the schools from the campaign, but also world gravity and loads of crazy other effects. Now, as you can expect, this has created some truly fucking crazy game types that were never even remotely possible before without mods, and an expansion of Reach's custom game options in the same vein would be fucking amazing, and I mean, I think that goes without saying. Another expansion that I'd love to see that is never gonna happen, but a guy can dream, is a Forge expansion. Now, ever since El Dorito, every other Forge mode, like even Halo 5's, has just felt inferior. El Doritos gave us so many options, like disabling map boundaries, forging out the map, skybox customization, custom textures that were ripped directly from the game that you could apply to any object. 
object and model resizing with physics that scaled, and so much more. I can't show any footage of it, sadly, because Microsoft are, like, still so fucking quick to copyright strike any videos of El Dorito, but holy shit, dude, if Reacher's Forge got even 10% of the expansion that Halo 3's did with El Dorito, then I cannot imagine how sick that would be. However, as unlikely as I do think it is that these things will be added by 343, you've got to remember that modding support is going to make practically anything imaginable possible. Granted, official modding tools won't be there at launch, but honestly, that's not the end of the world. Resident Evil 2, for example, still doesn't have any official modding tools, and yet there's still a shit ton of mods like asset replacement stuff that make the game feel genuinely fresh with each playthrough, and honestly, with how long people have been waiting for Reach and the other Halo games on PC, I don't think it's going to be long until those games get the same treatment by modders that have been waiting for literally a decade to crack into those files and go crazy. And so, that's everything that's changing with Reach when it comes to MCC on both console and PC. All in all, a lot more positives than negatives if you ask me, but the progression system is the one thing that I'm not so sure about. Like, I'm just kind of worried that the credit system won't return because I just have this weird sort of supernatural feeling that it won't. For those wondering though, I, I genuinely don't know if it is returning, like I honestly don't have a clue. It's just a sort of realisation that I had when I was writing this video that made a worrying amount of sense and that still to this second makes a worrying amount of sense. So anyways, that's going to do it for today guys, I think at least. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments if there's any changes or additions to Reach that you'd love to see. I want to give a big thank you to Sushi Daya for the new Primordial Pledge, along with everybody else who supports me over on Patreon, and thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.